What's going on my Brood War brothers? Welcome back to another Brood War Remastered Ladder Cast. I've got a thick, some might even say girthy, series here between Flash in the top left hand corner and Motive over here in the top right. Yes, plenty of games are played between these two on the ladder Motive. We've been watching him here and there, a little bit on and off. He's been in the KCM and He's been performing pretty well lately. One of those potentials for the Protoss. Someone who we might see dominate in the future, but ha just hasn't quite made it there yet. He's very strong on the ladder. And that's where these two met. Flash on his ladder climb comeback tour. Reaching the pinnacle of ladder only days, weeks after returning here and putting up some great games for us to watch and enjoy looking forward to see what he has uh, for us in this little series because he's been showing a lot of gasless fast expand it's been his mo and in this game it's not going to be the case he's actually going for a quick gas here so mixing it up already showing us something new this series was played actually before the series versus snow. So if you've been following the saga of Flash here right along with me, you know what point we are at in this moment. We are pre Flash versus snow, but we are still here in July of 2024. So this is uh, this is exciting, guys. By the way, happy. Uh, Canada Day, happy Independence Day for you Americans out there. It's a great time to celebrate. July is an amazing season. Beautiful, one of my favorite seasons out of the year. It's not quite too hot yet. But we are well into the spring and even the summer in some parts of the world. Uh, so it's just, it's a magical time. It's a great time to get outside or to stay inside and watch Brood War. Either one. Maybe watch Brood War at night. Go hang out with the family and friends during the day. Touch some grass. You know how it is. We've got range here. Going for motive. Nothing on gas for flash. Looks like he is optimizing his way into a vulture expand. And we'll be taking that CC here in just a moment. Looks like we're going to get the CC started. And likely a Nexus coming out in just a moment for Motive. No Zealot was produced. He scouted the wrong direction, so he's only going to find the entrance here now. With two Marines at the front. You can actually battle this with the Dragoon, no problem. I'm a little bit surprised that he's not just running in and taking that fight. Now with the probe coming up. Easy kills. And the probe will get forward here. Uh-oh, this is looking a little bit bad for Flash. Uh, he forewent the third Marine, which helps you to actually battle the, the Dragoon and win. Uh, it's a little bit silly how much better it is. Three Marines versus just two. It makes a huge difference. Oh, he just, he just shot his own probe. My goodness. And the Vulture is going to get in here. See how many kills it can get. Because the Dragoons are being heavily microed on this side of the map. And that Marine is going down for sure. More SCVs are going to fall here. So the Vulture going to sneak around the backside. He's already got two kills. Three now. Looks like he might get a fourth. But these... Oh, okay, four kills. Wow. All right, four kills do go down, but... We've got five and three kills on these two Dragoons. That is insanity. Getting a little bit of something back in the main base of the Protoss, but taking a hefty amount of damage has Flash. Coming out with the tank. Going to target down the low HP Dragoon. He loses it. That's a little bit rough. All right, Flash making some headway here. Despite the shaky opener, we are even on workers. And the command center is just about done. The Nexus ends up finishing a bit faster. Because the command center needs an SCV to be building that. 
But as that finishes up, looks like we're gonna kind of even out for the most part. A little bit of a lead, I guess, for motive. After all the kills that went down, it's not the end of the world. But it is leaving Flash in a bit of a precarious situation. He's gonna try and push out. Three Marines. I mean, imagine how many Marines he's built this game. I don't even want to think. Maybe eight? He's got three left. He was constantly spitting out Marines and just trying to get them in the bunker, and they kept getting gunned down over and over again. So, Flash continuing that barracks production for a really long time. It does feel like he's very committed. He killed one Dragoon and lowered the HP on another. So, maybe he thinks that this can get him somewhere. Maybe that he thinks that he can force another Dragoon kill or two. As long as he doesn't lose any tanks, it's going to be fine. But he needs to get something out of all these Marines that he built. He built so many Marines throughout this game. He's got to be really careful with this first tank. He gets gunned down immediately. It looks like two tanks are going to fall. Ooh, I'm really not liking this exchange for Flash. Two Dragoons for three tanks. And he's going to lose every Marine. Motive is in a absolutely dominating position now. This is brutal, brutal damage. Motive making it look like you should never, ever push out with that uh, Marine tank army, but it is like, uh, it is something that a lot of Terrans do. It's a pretty trendy thing to do right now. And it just does not work out at all in this game. And now, you know, I was saying how Flash was in a reasonable position is still playable it's feeling a lot less playable now motive is going to have huge map control is easily going to be able to take a third nexus here maybe even go into a fourth nexus pretty soon he has under no pressure he doesn't need to build up his gateway count uh, he can go for reaver completely safely here no shot that flash can uh, attack him for quite some time even gonna lose that vulture on the map there's one more that's probably gonna get down to the bottom right hand corner and just give a little bit of a hard time here to motive but yeah that's not really gonna do too much flash we're gonna get to see him playing from a massive deficit see what that looks like because it's pretty rare that flash gets into such a rough position in the early game He's usually getting small incremental victories until all the little wins pile up into one big dominant push where he's able to take down his opponent. That's what we expect out of Flash. It's not what we're going to get here. It's going to have to be some desperation. He'll have to pull out something a little different. Something to surprise motive. Maybe uh, I can imagine a two, tr a two tank drop maybe going around the whole map and landing down here with some vultures to maybe shut down this corner of the map and prevent motive from taking a fourth while flash slowly pushes out and takes this third base this is the base where you can place tanks here and hit this ramp so this is the optimal base to take as your third as a terran player if you were for example down here if you were in motive spawn trying to take this base is a lot harder you can't really set up tanks to hit this. Or at least you can't hit or you can't hit with too many tanks. Maybe you can hit with like one tank there. You can hit, but you can't set up a whole bunch. Where well, this is a lot closer. Ooh. Eating a mine there. Motive. Clearing out the map of vultures. He managed to sneak a probe down to bottom right, but I, I don't think that that probe's gonna live too much longer. We should see vultures make their way down there at least to force a response out of motive force him to send dragoons down to this location to clean this up and just kind of delay the probe transfer down to the bottom right for a little while going up to five factories so this is the play oh with a starport and a science facility that's interesting okay he's gonna do a drop and he's going to continue his mech upgrades. This is not going to be a five factory kill move. It's much more likely to be a five factory push to take the third. We'll see how that goes. So far, no response out of motive at all. 
to try and save this Nexus, and it is likely to go down. Um, okay, some Dragoons are coming this direction. Just two, though. And it's going to take them some time to clear this out. Motive of being a little slow with this. Look at him. Really taking his time getting down there. And actually, Flash will get the Nexus. Look at that. This Nexus is going to fall. With just two Dragoons trying to clear the mines on the high ground, you're going to miss a bunch of shots. And this is easily going to fall. So, that's a bit rough. Alright, he even tries to run in to get there as soon as possible. And he loses two Dragoons as well. This is a big move from Flash. That's going to make a huge difference. And he gets more mine connections as well. That was a really smart, cheeky play. Right as the mines get cleared to come back and lay a few more. Very sneaky stuff. Motive going to sneak a probe to 6 o'clock. Try to take that base. But Flash has already done enough delaying. That... Even though his third is going to be very late, he's not too far behind the curve at this point, especially with his upgrades cranking and five uh, factories already done. He's going to have a large army. And Motive going to take a shot. Oh, does get one shot off, but loses a Reaver. You can see Motive not quite on the level of, fla uh, of Snow, excuse me, when it comes to these Reaver engagements. He does get one tank, though. Nicely done. Good slow push here from Flash, only losing one tank against the Reaver and picking off one Reaver. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's like finally these vultures will be cleaned up. They are pesky. And there it is. He's going to plant the tanks here on this side of the ramp. And he can now prevent more Dragoons from reinforcing this position. We do have two shuttles coming out here though. L really nice split on these tanks. Fantastic splitting. Still going to drop on top of all this and cause a lot of splash damage, but only one tank was killed. So with only one tank going down, you can't actually push up here. You can see this, how powerful this is. Just two tanks firing on Dragoons as they try to come up the ramp makes it so much easier to deal with this push. And he gets the Reaver too. Really, really nice push here from Flash. Everything going to plan actually after that first bad engagement. In the early game. He's uh, executed everything else quite fantastically. Time to repair some of these tanks though. We don't want to leave them on one HP. Not exactly one, but you know what I'm saying. One uh, zealot attack or one siege tank splash shot away from death. It's a little bit rough. Two cannons down here. Another two coming up. Should be able to keep most of these probes alive. Although, this is a lot of vultures. Okay. Yeah, three cannons now. Oh, but the transfer gets caught. The transfer going down right now is pretty rough. Still, 69 probes on the field. So, Motive not doing too bad right now. He's got a very reasonable uh, probe saturation for the moment. Some dragons here in the middle. Just going to catch on to these vultures, which are heading towards the bottom right. Motive going to snag a couple more bases and go into Templar Archives. Storm is on the way. Second Robotics is coming in as well. And here's a drop onto these tanks. Just great splitting overall. The spread of tanks here is really tough to uh, mess with. Pretty, pretty tough to, to actually beat here. But this tank is going to go down just barely. And that means there's nothing covering this uh, high ground here. Or this ramp, excuse me. Another tank comes up to get into position to stop that. You can lay down some more buildings here as well. Looks like no, that, that looked like a building being construction, constructed, but it's not. Barracks and Supply Depot to block this area up. And good attempt by Motive to try and get up onto this high ground. Because if you can deny this third base right now, it's just about lights out. Um, he cleared out quite a few tanks from this area. So I think overall a reasonable trade. We'll just see how long it takes Flash to max out once again. And is he going to go for a fourth base? There it is. Fourth base under construction in the main. More macro going on here for motive. 
He doesn't have another uh, gateway rally point just yet. But it's going to be tough for Flash to push his natural. Let's zoom out a little bit on, on retro here. He's going to have to push out from here. There's no way he's going to push through here. I don't think at least. He's going to have to push out this direction and then around this way. And then through this way to get to the natural. So it's going to be tough. It's almost easier to just push uh, let crosswise. Go down here or uh, maybe push down here and take the fourth. It'll be tough to uh, to push the natural. So maybe motive will be safe in that regard. At least for a few minutes until he can get some more gateways up. I don't think we're going to see a really quick push uh, straight towards the natural. Uh, anytime soon, even though we're at 144 supply and you generally push around 160. I think it's likely we're going to see a f flash push down here towards the bottom right now. A drop coming into the third base. Let's see what kind of damage this can get. Storms on a lot of these SCVs. Pretty decent damage there. Three kills and that final storm dealing a lot of damage. Dropping him to just 49 workers. 72 probes. Holy. I just noticed that. Let's see he's got 110 army supply that was some quick maths 50 workers to 72 dude you can produce so much with 72 workers you can see his glut of minerals is getting a little bit insane he actually needs to take more gases at this point because the mineral income is a little bit next level starting to set up some extra gateways now I think some pylons anyway to get that started. Dragoons coming in. This is not a lot of tanks on the defense at this moment. And that is way too many dragoons and zealots. It looks like we might be able to punch through, but another line of tanks here in the background. Probe or SCV transfer getting lit up by those tanks, actually. Another storm. Clearing out more of these tanks. And Flash is just about out of this, dude. He gets crushed. Trying to take his fourth base, and GG is called. Wow, impressive stuff from Motive here. From the beginning of the game, though, Flash was a little bit behind. From that time when he pushed with the Marines and tanks, of course, when he made only two Marines as well, and didn't have the third Marine for the first Dragoon. A little bit faux pas there from Flash, but... We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. We'll say that he was a little bit uh, tired, maybe. Maybe he was having a, a rough day on ladder. He's going to get warmed up here going into our next game. We've got a lot of games for this series, so plenty more opportunities to show us some good stuff here. Flash going into game number two. In the contest between Ladder Protoss and Literal God Gamer Terran, we are now 1-0 for the Protoss. We've got Motive here in the bottom left-hand corner. Hot off a win versus the greatest gamer of all time. Flash in the top right-hand corner, of course. Shaking off the rust slowly but surely. Not quite at his peak performance, but he's not worried about these ladder games. He is testing out ideas, getting a sense of where the meta is at. The real test will be in tournament, of course. It's just fun for us to, to watch the development, honestly. I love to see the behind the scenes a little bit. Get a peek behind the curtain at how these guys train and reach that level that we often see in the ASL. Let's see if he goes for another gas build here or whether he wants to throw in the gasless. No. Another gas build. And it's looking like a Nexus first cross spawn for Motive. So, you know, Motive just rolling the dice like a true Protoss. He gets a sweet pair of sixes here. Or a seven or whatever it is in dice that's actually a good roll. I couldn't tell you. Just two on gas for now. Okay, going up to three. Flash, is he going to do the exact same build as last time? I think it's reasonable to assume that he will. It's not like he... Or it's not like he lost because of the build. 
in the last game was simply a matter of execution. If he does things a little bit more solidly, he should be able to handle whatever motive brings out. He cancels the Marine to start the factory slightly sooner. Looks like he's going to pay for that. Because Motive scattered cross map and he found him immediately. And he's going to lose an SEV. Oh no. Well. I mean. Nice optimization I guess there Flash. That's a little bit rough. He thought that the probe wasn't coming. He waited long enough that the probe was not going to arrive. In time. So he cancelled that Marine and he pays for it dearly. Really good punish from motive and that's what we've been seeing so far this series is small errors and really strong punishes we'll go ahead and throw down this cc here in a moment scv is still unable to find his opponent it appears that he went end scout he went bottom right then he went top left and he's gonna scout at the last possible moment which is about as unluck unlucky as it gets when it comes to Terran play. Thought that was going to be a starport. It's not. Machine shop is on the way here. And we're back to mining gas with the command center coming, but light years behind our Protoss opponent, unfortunately, who has only gone for a single gateway, has been incredibly lucky thus far. Manages to block the SCV out. The Vulture will arrive, but Dragoon is already done. Oh, run straight by into the main. That's not what we were hoping for. Should have been able to block that out, but oh, ho, 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 ho. Citizen's Arrest. Very well done there by Motive. He reveals his robotics, the timing on it, unfortunately. But that was some sick, sick probe control by motive and flash this is what i was talking about last game when you're behind like this you have to pull out something sneaky you can't just play totally normal uh and pray for a comeback and it's gonna get spotted dude everything is going wrong right now for flash this is about as bad as you could ever ever expect Nothing has gone right. Every It's just a train wreck so far. But I can't look away. Flash is getting scouted and punished for this starport in the bottom left of the map. The proxy starport is not going to pay off. It's going to have to float over here, build nothing, and add nothing to the value of Flash's game. Eventually it'll help. Oh god, the run by is not gonna work either. And he just leaves the game. Dude, <laughs> Flash is pissed. Oh my goodness, he is pissed. Dude, even this game sometimes it gets to the best of them. Even gets to the best of them sometimes. That's nice to see. That's catharsis right there. Even Flash has games like this where you just want to leave the game before even the six minute mark. Everything went wrong. The Protoss got every single advantage through a coin flip, dice roll, whatever you want to call it. And then found the proxy and blocked every move that Flash made. Oh man. And he lost an early uh, SEV, mind you. <laughs> got the late scout. And the probe got the early scout. It, there's just so much that went wrong in this game. I'm not going to dwell on it. Let's jump into the next one. I mean, Flash. He's going to have to put that one out of his mind if he wants to take a game off of Motive here. Let's go. Okay, jumping into game number three. We've got Motive versus Flash. And right at the beginning of the, the replay. Um, you guys didn't see it, but he typed, Flash typed. Sorry, no GG. And the GG. So, always the gentleman, Flash, was pretty frustrated, you could tell, after that last game. And any of you guys who actually play Brood War, I know there's a few of you out there. Uh, although most of you guys are just watching at this point. 
if you're still playing Brood War and struggling with your games, uh, having a hard time, feeling like nothing is going right, just, just remember that last one. Even Flash. Even Flash has a few of those games, guys, on the ladder. It is what it is. Where just absolutely everything goes the wrong direction. The best thing to do is just leave the game and get started with the next one. Because it can only get better from there. That, that's the <laughs> that's the worst that it could possibly be. You know you found it. You found rock bottom. And you can move forward. So, this is exactly what I thought we would see. A gas is fast expand. Flash falling back on what he feels comfortable with. This is actually, I'm, I'm happy about this. I, I wanted to see Gasless from Flash and... Motive this time, he's gonna go for what appears to be a no zealot uh, Dragoon into expansion, probably like 22 Nexus, something like that. So, it's likely that we'll see Flash at an advantage in this early game and it'll be up to Motive to either get range and take the, the Protoss tax or go for a very quick Robo, maybe try to dump stuff into the main, go for a Reaver, something like that. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see whether he starts this range or not. See, the SCV is very curious about it. He's checking out the main. And with the first scout, having all this early information, he's able to make sure that his build is as optimized as possible. As the Dragoon pops out with no range on the way, we're likely to see a Robo here in a moment. 200 gas in the bank for Motive. He's actually banked up a lot more gas than I would have expected. He took one probe off the gas, but maybe not enough. The Nexus could have come out faster. And right now we don't have any use for this gas at all. So maybe a little bit of... Uh, Mistaken optimization here. From Motive. He's finally going to start to scout. He has no idea if there's like an early vulture or what have you on the way to come and harass his economy. So he needs to be very careful. Wait for that second dragoon to pop. So that he can potentially block anything like that. He's going to come up. With the first dragoon, find that there is, in fact, a bunker. He should run by to just check and see if there's a CC. No, he doesn't. Okay. It's a good time to run by, honestly. What is this in the middle of the map? Oh my goodness. A factory in mid-map. That is interesting. Okay. Let's talk about this a little bit. Because... Motive knows that he's behind. He knows that he's in a poor spot. He has range on the way. He's building dragoons. He's going to send the dragoons to take the tax. These are the tax collectors. They're going to come and take a percent of Flash's income. But it's really for the good of the nation. Oh, he catches it in the middle of the map. Wait. Wait a minute. He's going to get the tax and he shuts down this factory. See, had these dragoons been sent directly across the map to go and hit this bunker, he wouldn't have found this factory in the middle, or if Flash had just placed it over here or something, uh, or down here, or anywhere really, uh, that wasn't the exact middle of the map. Um, he wouldn't have spotted that, and we would have had vultures incrementing out in the middle of the map. He would have gotten like maybe three with speed, and then just ran in suddenly to the natural. Uh, would have been a complete surprise, most likely, to Motive. But now that the map's been cleared, he can send all the Dragoons across. He can start to take Nexuses. And this is just... This is rough from Flash once again. Unfortunate. Really, truly unfortunate. His fa second factory is late. I mean, he's got a great macro edge here, as you can see. So it's not the end of the world at all. He's still in a good position. But it's a little dangerous. You don't have a lot to assist this. You can see he's making sure that the SCVs are ready. Just in case 
we have uh four dragoons try to dive on this tank a great position on that tank by the way very far away from the natural or very far away from the dragoons out of their range so with just a little bit of scv blocking it would be hard to get in there and motive is not going to make that attempt so uh, honestly i give the edge to flash even though that proxy factory didn't end up working out for him he's still looking to be in a good position motive however he's got a lot of moves he's got some tricks up his sleeve he's gonna have reaver out here pretty soon we'll see how, what he can do with that reaver if he can get any damage potentially in the main or if he can get some uh, pressure onto flash so it makes it harder for him to take his third it is a little tough to take a third base on this map you have to push out through this choke you have to hold this area and then you have to hold this area as well in order to get your third base down um, taking this one i don't know i like it as zerg but i don't think it would be any good for terran i'm sure that taking the more accessible third base here would be better a couple of vultures slipping out a little bit surprising that they managed to get past these dragoons who are supposedly containing the terran on these bases but He's going to come down to six. He's going to find a pylon wall. Dragoons are going to take out one of those. And another base down here in the bottom right is already on the way. A fourth base. Uh, this early on. And right into Science Facility and Starport for Flash. That's a bit surprising. Armory. Three fact. Going for double upgrades. I, I feel like we're seeing flash play a little bit of an older style this is how people have been playing for our terran players have been playing for greater than 10 years i would say is focusing very very heavily on upgrades throwing in a drop here and there uh, but just generally focusing on upgrades getting into the third base on as few factories as possible and eventually maxing out or one you know hitting 160 supply with 2-1 two 2-1 one, uh, two one timing it's a very it's a strong way to play but in the modern era i feel that protoss players have uh pushed terrans into a corner where they need to do more they need to find other ways oh this is gonna get spotted that is rough look at that motive sees everything he sees this drop moving out on the map He's going to be able to shut this down, no problem. To double Reaver here in the front. This is this is what I'm talking about. This is the modern style of Protoss versus Terran. Where these Reavers don't even need to get damaged. They are just going to be a thorn, a pain in the butt here for Terran to try and push out against. Oh man, is he actually going to get probes? Even though this was spotted? Okay, he's not. He's heading in the wrong direction. He's going to try and put mines behind the dragoons, which don't actually have a... Okay, there is an observer back here, but this is interesting. This is an interesting move. He sent this this dropship out just to get mines over here, and he sent it out this direction. Instead of just landing right there and then coming down here and placing mines, he went all the way around the map. Kind of an interesting choice. All right. We're going into... Wow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, six factory. He's going to six factory push. Six factories to try and take a third base. All right. Wow. That's interesting. Coming down with some vultures right now. Looking for some kills in the bottom right. Not going to find anything. Dragoon's shutting that down perfectly. Oh, but the Reaver's not being paid attention to. Not babysat properly here. Uh, and so he does take a couple of good shots. On those reavers pick up nice job slowing things down this is what the reavers are meant to do at this point in the game just being a thorn in the side to the terran player and he actually killed this scv no thanks we're gonna slowly spread out towards this third we're almost at 11 minutes i think that we've done well enough here as uh protoss to slow this down he needs to get over and clear these mines give himself an in towards this base careful not to land in tank range oh 
does lose one reaver there for free. That's a bit unfortunate. Got to take one more pot shot. Not going to happen. Reaver will be picked up and pulled back. Not the greatest uh, defense out of motive, but you know, he slowed it down a little bit. He's still got one reaver. Okay, he, he no longer has one reaver. Uh, we just went down to the mine, unfortunately, but hey. He's got more bases up in the bottom right. He's got 71 workers. He's transitioning into the next stages of this game. I think he's just going for the exact same play that he went in game number one. Yeah, going into Templar, getting Storm. This is working out well for Flash, though. He will have very quick 2-1. Oh, he's already got 2-1. Holy. Yeah, okay. 2-1 is done. That is kind of crazy. He's already got 6 fact. He should be going into even more. 7 factory, in fact. Maybe 8 or 9? I'm not sure what exactly he can afford uh, with this many upgrades pumping. They're very expensive. Seems like 7 factory is the, the lucky number right now. And he's going to be 3-2 in almost no time flat. He's got EMP on the way. This is not a Arbiter build, but it can still be helpful against Mass Templar. Here's your first Templar drop. Are we going to come in for some damage in the natural? It's looking kind of open. There's a lot of damage potential right here if you fly in this direction. Could get a big group of SCVs there in the natural. There's 61 SCVs spread over three bases, so they are pretty densely packed. Especially over here. Floating building's gonna make that hard, though. Flash is thinking about pushing out soon. 172 supply. I think he'll wait for 3-2. That's another factory. Up to eight factories now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right. Third gas is mining. Fourth gas is mining. Fifth gas is on the way. Second rally point being set up now by Motive. Has another base over here. His probe saturation looking good. At 70 probes, it seems like he doesn't have too many at any one base. Which is exactly where you want to be. Slowly pushing out here. Looking for this engagement. There's a lot of mines under this stuff, which makes me a little bit scared for Flash. Here we go. Dropping the storm, boys. Getting some good storms on some clumps of tanks here. Clearing out a few of these things, but he loses his own observer. All right. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Not bad. Trading out a few tanks for a big clump of Protoss army. And now Flash is actually ahead in army supply. A lot of stuff going to be popping out here very soon for Motive, but there's a little bit of a weak point where Flash can move to take another base. He won a fight. Time to make a move. Flash going to move forward. Take his fourth. Quite a few uh, shuttles coming forward, though. Dropping on top of all this, and there's the mine connections that we were looking for. Great mine connections on a lot of these back tanks, and the line of tanks is very shallow at the moment. See, there's only these tanks. Not a lot backing them up here. A lot of these are low. If he goes back and picks up another, you know, 10 Zealots and brings them forward here to drop, I think he might break this position. Flash is... Uh, I'm getting a little nervous for him. I think he, he might want to pull up these tanks. Pull all your tanks. Bring everything together because this is looking a bit flimsy. More Zealots. Dragoons and Templar making their way to the front line. It's quite a wide front here with very spread out tanks. Flash is doing a good job of that at least. Making sure that everything is good and tr well and truly spread out. Great storm there. Getting some damage on these retreating SCVs and some tanks. Did get a big storm here on the retreating SCVs. Pretty good. Not great, but slowing things down for Flash right now is the, the name of the game. As he continues to spread out, he's getting a base in the top right. He's trying to take the fourth quadrant here. This is looking good. 
with gateways on this high ground you don't even need the nexus you just need this this high ground with a bunch of cannons and some templar to pop out dropship moving around the top side of the map that's actually empty kind of funny to see that flying over does turn around though it's being paid attention to now fourth base has been established. Third base might be under threat. Motive thinking about going in here. Is this the point where he throws? That's a lot of turrets. A lot of tanks as well. Wow. I think some of these, these shuttles went down without getting anything out. He's going to go for the SCVs over here. Oh my goodness. That is so many kills. Wow. Dropping down to just 43. There was at least 20 workers here. Just a moment ago. Now down to five. So, highly successful storm drop from Motive. But will he have the abundance of army to actually take out this 3-2 Terran force? It's pushing forward. A lot of storms go down. But the Dragoons are being pushed back. Another wave of storm. As things advance, they're walking right into storms. But the Dragoons are melting with this Unsiege tank and Vulture army. He's going to have to fall back all the way towards the bottom right. Doing a good job, though, playing a defensive fighting game. Really well played, honestly, by Motive. He cleared out a lot of that Terran army. And now this is looking really spread and quite heavily damaged. If he manages to bring a couple of shuttles forward with some storms and, and uh, some zealots as well... You should be able to clear this all out and save the base. It's looking good. A rally coming forward here. Diving on top of tanks that are coming out on the map. Zealots make their way out. Dragoons are coming. Some storms will be levied here. And this defense is good. He's going to hold in bottom right. Flash is getting frustrated. He's sending everything he can towards this bottom right while sending tanks over here. He at least kills this Nexus, which is a big deal. But Dragoons going to be dropped on top of these tanks. And since they are already low HP, two of them are going to fall. Pretty uh, uh, efficient here, trading from Motive. Dropping Zealots on top of these tanks once again. Good D-Matrix there. This Nexus still alive for now. Good Storms as well. Coming in from the flank with, uh, with Dragoons. He should be able to clear all this out. Oh my goodness. Motive handling this perfectly. Dude, that was about as well done as any uh, Protoss play uh, handling the 3-3 mech. It's not easy by any stretch of the imagination. It is an incredibly difficult task, but motive making it look good, making it look easy here. And with this base in the top right, oh man, if I see that as Flash... After you just got denied pushing down to the bottom right, he's going to try and split this map in half, but there's already a bunch of stuff here, a bunch of Templar on top of that high ground that's so frustrating to, to see. Basically, if you push anywhere, if you push to the natural and kill the natural, it doesn't matter. If you push bottom right and kill the natural, it doesn't matter. Any of these singular bases, they don't really matter right now because uh, all three quadrants... That Flash does not occupy have already been stolen away by the Protoss force. Templar moving out here. Gotta be careful with those. They do kind of wander ahead of the army and oftentimes get swallowed up by mines. Shoving into this little pocket right here. It's a dangerous position to be in, but he's looking for a point of weakness where he can drop on top. Great zealot bombs here. Tanks are very stacked up, so the Storms are going to be highly effective. Picking off quite a few tanks with just pure storm. The Dragoons are starting to run thin. But this is just more kills for this heavily uh, gateway focused army. As long as you're cleaning up tanks and remaxing quickly. I think as motive you're going to be feeling very very good here. A lot of Dragoons going down on the tail end of that. It turned out to be a reasonable trade. But honestly, Motive is winning this. If I'm looking at this uh, from a Terran perspective, 
You're not feeling too good anymore. 45 SCVs remain. And only two base mining. He needs another base if he wants to continue this fight. And so he's going to try and take it in the top right-hand corner. But look at all the storms here, man. Oh, and this Dark Templar coming out. Just saving the Nexus. So frustrating. So, so frustrating. He has the Science Vessel. He could get some EMP down on two of these Templar. He does get that. That is a big moment. Getting rid of some of that splash damage as he comes up the ramp. Ooh, that storm, though. Oh, man, that storm hurts so badly. It's like this base will get cleaned. We can't count Flash out just yet. He's still got 3-3 three, three mech. And he's attempting to take this base here. Just the storms from the high ground are going to be such a nuisance. And the fact that he doesn't have the... Science Vessel anymore. And Archon is getting kills on tanks. Wow. That is ridiculous. Three kill Archon. Or no, two kill Archon there. And he wasn't... He didn't even get any kills as a Templar. He did all of this after forming into an Archon. That CC is getting kind of low. Well, taking a lot of damage. Looks like it will not end up going down, but... Storms get cast... Tanks are falling. It's just never a great trade trying to fight up high ground versus Templar. But he gets rid of the Templar. That's a lot of vultures making their run on the high ground. But they're not here to support the tanks. The tanks are going down. Look at the long trail of Zealots dropping on top of all these spread out tanks. And GG is called. He gets broken here in the middle. And Flash has to leave the game. Is this his kryptonite motive? Taking out Flash again and again and sticking around after the game just to clear out the army. He's got to be feeling good. It's great to get your licks in here early, honestly. And I think a lot of pro, pro players have been doing it against Flash before he comes back into full form. No shame in it. Killing off Flash here. It's got to be feeling good. It's got to be a huge confidence booster, but... Will Flash adapt? Will he be able to put things together in the series? What is he learning from these sets versus motive? And how will he use what he's learned to implement a better strategy in the future? Something that will allow him to take a game here versus motive. It's not looking good so far. Even the... Gasless Fast Expand didn't work out well. What can we do to battle this fresh, this kind of new double robotic style with Mass Gateway that Motive is using so brilliantly? Let's see what Flash has for us going into our next game. Let's jump right in. Back over to Retro for our next game. We've got Flash here in the top left motive in the top right and well we saw these exact same positions earlier on see if flash wants to play it out similarly to what he did last time uh maybe just with a bit of a cleaner opening that could be potentially what we see here but honestly what does flash need to do to to take on motive with this style uh, I think he needs to take a, a page out of some of these other Terran players' books. Like, what have they been doing to deal with it? Well, a lot of Terran players have been foregoing plus two. They get plus one uh, attack. They get their natural. They get five factories and then push to take their third before even thinking about plus two. And that seems to be a style with four Goliaths. And plus one, they get plus one, they get plus one armor. And then once they have that third base, that's when they go into full macro mode. That's when they get into their plus two. And they have a lot more power. They have a lot more units in the early game to push out and take that quicker third base. But I'm not sure if Flash is hip to that yet or if he's just... 
trying to make his older style work, if he's just trying to uh, see if there are smaller changes that can be made, smaller modifications that can be made to the, the powerful, uh, quicker upgrade style that he's used to, that can help him to overcome this, this newer style. I, I don't know if he wants to make those big changes. But he might have to if he wants to take down Motive here. Motive not going for another Nexus first this time. Straight on into Dragoon. Everything's been going so well for him lately. And all these games. What is the reason to change things up? There's really no reason to do so. He's made a Zealot this time. This is the first time he's made a Zealot in this series. And he sent it in the direction that he knows Flash is not in. And the reason he's doing that is because he wants to avoid the SCV scout. He wants to trick Flash into thinking that there's no Zealot. And we'll see what he wants to do with this Zealot. Can he make it worthwhile? He's incrementing out Dragoons. He's going to send them straight to the front. With the Zealot coming in before the bunker is finished, I imagine we're going to see him run by. I think we are going to see a, a run by here with the Zealot. The bunker is just about done. Okay, he sees the bunker and he backs up. Interesting. Engineering Bay on this side of the map. That's going to be a bit frustrating for Motive to deal with, but he is going to run by this, I think. There's only one Marine in, in the bunker. Go, 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 go. He's going for it. Here we go. He's just going to hit the bunker with the Dragoon. And then he's going to... Uh, allow the Zealot to take no damage from the Marine. Oh, it took like five damage from the Marine. This is a sneaky, sneaky play. Marine has to be pulled now. And the Dragoon can run by the bunker. All right. This second Marine is going to come out. Start to chase the uh, Zealot around. If he knew that there's two Marines in here, I mean, why not run by the bunker with the Dragoon? Or at least hit the bunker. Why are we not hitting the bunker? All right. The Zealot goes down. I guess he's just going to wait or throw down a third Nexus instantly. Huh. Well, this is interesting. The gas is fast expand from Flash. Got a little punished there by running by with the Zealot, but I think he could have done a lot more. I do truly feel that he could have done a lot more with this. Playing a bit cautiously. With that Dragoon, he didn't want to maybe get surrounded by SCVs. Lose that Dragoon, not be able to take the Protoss tax, because now he is indeed taking that tax. He is going to be taking a lot of Protoss tax here. Heavily, heavily taxed. I know that's a sensitive subject for you Americans out there. You fought a war over this reason. Happy July 4th, by the way, guys. And I don't think that the Terrans will suffer this, uh, this oppressive tax for much longer. Pretty soon we're going to get the army out. And the tank is going to be able to push this away. See, things have come a, a, a long way in the fight for... For freedom, we no longer need muskets. We now have siege tanks. There we go. Siege tank. Going to be able to force this back. And that oppressive taxation can now come to an end. Four gateway follow-up. Interesting. Very, very fast third base. Pretty insanely fast, in fact. And Motive is likely to get away with it because Flash really can't see what's going on. He went for Gasless Fast Expand. He's saving energy on his commsat just in case there's something like a Reaver Drop or not a Reaver Drop, a DT Drop, something like that. He has to be really careful right now. Even going into Goliaths with the Charon Booster just in case there's Reaver coming. He believes himself to be in a, in a pretty decent spot right now. 
He's gotten away with the gas is fast expand, but in return, Motive has gotten away with even more greed. This is a problem. This is a problem for Terran. Is that even with a greedy build like this, the Protoss, if they out greed you, it's hard to figure out what they're doing. And you know, they could easily be going for any one of those things. Like I said before, they could be going for a Reaver play. They could be going for a DT drop play. You have to cross all your eyes. Otherwise, you could just lose the game instantaneously. If you don't have detection or you don't have enough units or you don't have anti-air. Things can fall off the rails really, really quick. And he's starting another starport. Two more, uh, one more factory. And I think he's just going to go for the exact same play as we saw before. So yeah, this is the game that we're playing. A super quick command center here at the natural. And he'll likely be trying to take third base off of three factory, but I'm, I'm a bit afraid. We've got four gateways and they've been pumping away for a while. It's not like Motive's been slacking on units. And he will be up on this high ground. Flash is going to try to push this. He's actually getting a fourth factory. I, I kind of like that. I'm glad that he's not just going to try and do this on three. We've seen him do it against some lesser Protoss players. Or not even lesser, but some other Protoss players who weren't quite able to punish it. But Motive, I mean, he's ready. He is ready, ready. There's the tanks pushing out. We start to siege up here. Four Goliaths. Looking reminiscent of the play I was talking about. Four Goliath, five factory, uh, no plus two. But he's going for plus two. And he only has four factories. So this is... It's tougher. It's hard. What Flash is doing is... He's giving them a ch himself a chance for a much stronger mid and late game. But he's also giving an option here for Motive to bust him open. And if Motive manages to, to deny this third base, well, there's not much hope for you in that case. Coming in from the flank. It's a good move. Going to get inside the rally point here. Mm, pretty good position out of flash. The tanks right now. Motive bringing everything over here towards the entrance to the natural, though. Zealot and Reaver going to drop on top of this. Great shot from the Reaver. He's going to drop over by the SCVs. SCVs are going to go down in large amounts. Another big hit from that Reaver. And the Dragoons are pushing through a lot of these tanks. He's actually just going to go for the main and the natural now. Looks like the Reaver actually went down. So the Reaver shuttle is gone. But Dragoons here right up in the front. And tanks are going to have to be pulled back to deal with this. Motive doing an excellent job of pulling apart this Terran player. But Flash with tanks on high ground now. Going to be able to push all of this back. Wow, that was... A pretty crazy series of events there. Motive making... Some good progress in the natural, killing off a lot of SCVs. You can see so many of these are badly damaged. And just 59 workers now to the 72 probes. Plus with all the, drag or the, the goliaths and tanks that were made to make this push happen. And to get this third base online. We really don't have much vultures. And we have practically no map control for flash. So... Probes are going to transfer completely free down to the bottom right-hand corner. And gateways have already started in this second quadrant of the map. Drop going to come into the main. But a few turrets are available, but this is a speed shuttle, so it will get in regardless. Oh, okay. Does get picked off. He's going to go for the middle supply depot. Gotta get that SCV. Oh, wow. That really didn't go well. Getting some kills on a few vultures. Not bad. Not bad at all. This is pretty good trades for motive. Ooh, okay, that tank does get a tank. 
Yeah, not bad at all for that drop, honestly. Killed a turret. Killed some vultures, a couple SCVs, stopped the supply depot. Slowed things down in the main for Flash. Flash does have two attack damage done, and he will have plus three on the way here soon. I don't see a second armory, but... Might get that here uh, relatively soon. Oh, there, there it is. Excuse me. Second armory is right there. Third attack damage upgrades on the way. So you can just see how quickly Flash is going to get into this. And since he did survive, he didn't lose his third. He didn't lose too many SCVs. He is on track to hit this 3-2 timing. That 3-2 timing will be very powerful. But how many bases will Motive have at that point? How many gateways and extra rally points will he have established when Flash is ready to move out? He's at 147 supplies, so he doesn't have long, but he's likely to wait for 3-2 three, three, uh, three, yeah, three, to be done before he wants to move and, and actually initiate this attack. I think that's likely. Is he going to push through here? It's a possibility. I don't know. I feel like he probably has to push around this way. Like we talked about uh, in that first retro game. Everything unseaging. Starting to move forward. He's going to have to move over this minefield that he's set up. Which is always a scary moment. Against uh, these shuttle style plays. You're going to have so many zealot bombs to just completely shut down that. You're going to get a free kill on a tank. Going for maybe some storm drops here. Storm drops very scary right now. He's waiting for the SCV transfer. Oh my god. Wow. So many kills there by just dragging the tank's damage onto those SCVs. Oh, the storm. Oh my goodness. Nine kills. Eleven kills. That is all the damage that Motive needed. Dropping down to just 55. Some more kills, I think. Just went down. 57 total. Yikes, man. That was some huge damage for Motive. And he's fine with you moving out now. Um, you don't have many SCVs, but go ahead. Take another base. Uh, if that's what you truly want to do. He's just going to go ahead and take bottom left. Setting up the third rally point. And I got to say, Flash is not looking too strong in any of these games. It feels like Motive is in complete control at this point. And all the gateway units piling out right here. I think this is actually blocked. Isn't that funny? The Zealots don't want to go this way. They won't go this way because the probe is right there. They just want to stand there instead. A couple more drops coming in. He's found a nice uh, little hole where he can... Slip his units through. Couple storms gonna go down. Getting some massive damage once again. Dropping it back down to uh, 54. Has 9 HP on this shuttle. So probably gonna wait for some shields. Vultures have spent no time on the map this game. Been completely shut down. We've got 3, 2, just about done. There it is. 3, 2 is done. So Flash has this moment where maybe he can push out and actually get something done. Maybe kill something. Maybe stop a base. Try to shut down Motive here. Motive just needs to block this ramp a little bit longer and he will get these cannons finished up. No, he won't be able to. Instead, he's going to go for a counter attack. I don't know about this. I would much prefer to see Motive finish up this base down here. Send some reinforcements. Go clear out those... Uh, vultures, but he's going to lose this third rally point and he might end up taking a bad fight here. If he does, Flash will have a window of opportunity to actually win this game. Great storm on all those vultures. Some awesome storms on tanks here as well. Dragoons are starting to melt and look at his supply just plummet. Wow. About 70 supply lost there and Flash lost less than 30. So... Flash is actually going to unsiege and maybe go for 
Uh, just one massive attack now. Everything pooled together. Flash hits his macro round behind this. Should actually start a bunch of vultures too. He's putting everything together here. Starting to push across the map. Does eat a pretty big storm just now. Storm on the advancing tanks and the science vessels as well. Again, this is this is the MO of every Protoss player who plays this style is they just want you to push forward like this so they can drop storms on everything as it advances. Doesn't have anything in these shuttles for now. Two more shuttles to make their way to the front. They don't have anything in them either. The D-Matrix tank at the beginning here, an absolute hero. And Flash is advancing. He's pushing in. I'm going to go ahead. Start to take out the natural while splitting off just a few units to go and try to clear this third base. What is Motive doing on his side? I feel like he's sort of falling apart. He's starting to pick up so he can drop a few more zealots on top of this stuff. But Goliaths are here. They're clearing out everything. He's actually pushing up into the main, which might be a mistake. Dragoons and zealots making their way forward. Picks off the science vessel. Don't have anything else left in here. But retreating onto the high ground, he should be able to pick up more zealots and zealot bomb this to death. That's that's a lot of tanks. Not a lot of drag or, uh, goliaths in the mix, though. That's eight zealots there to drop on top of this. Let's see. He drops on some of the unseige tanks. The siege tanks in the background. Dealing a lot of the damage here for Motive. Dragoon Zealot popping out. Just diving on top of this. And we've seen so many Terran players die like this. Just rallies upon rallies. Diving on top of their forces. Motive coming from behind. He's clearing out everything. Oh my goodness. So many tanks going down here. At the natural of Motive. It feels like he got baited in. That Flash got baited in to the main base. And now what is he going to do? He's going to try and split this map in half. As his own mineral patches start to run dry, he's going to try to get bottom left up and running. But he didn't go for that initially. He used such a massive amount of his army supply to try and break in. He's down to just 130. Whereas Motive has a very healthy supply of army as well as many healthy bases as well. All of these bases have tons of minerals at them. He's got so many shuttles to work with. I feel like this has been botched a couple of times by both sides already. But that both sides still have an opportunity to win this. It'll be up to the mistakes of the other player uh, who ends up taking this game. Flash is going to hold the middle. He might even expand out here to the middle as well. Zealot Bomb's going to clear out some of these tanks. Better to just unsiege, honestly. He doesn't do that, but he does bring vultures to help clear. This could be some big damage over at the fourth base. Oh, some good storms. Just clearing out a lot of these SCVs. Very well done. In the middle of the map looks like everything gets cleared out. Not able to make any progress there. We should see a CC coming towards the middle relatively soon. Oh, another storm drop. Oh, it hurts. 53 workers remain. Just 64 from motive at this point but definitely enough to remax very quickly and he still has some minerals remaining at most of these bases is pretty much mining on three base economy whereas flash is kind of stuck on two he is getting the third base up once again down in the bottom left but it's heavily exposed we could see a, a shuttle come down there and really throw a wrench into things for flash yeah this reaver shuttle is a serious pain 
for Flash to have to deal with. As soon as that gets into this this base, I mean, it's just shut down. You're going to have to bring tanks and vultures and everything to deal with that. It's not going to be easy. Uh, yeah, just pure vulture. It will eventually clear it. But how many vultures are you going to lose? Oh, okay. It didn't go as well as I thought for motive, but we'll be able to transfer SCVs back now. And here comes that maxed Protoss army. He's going to try and rush through the middle. Dropping on top of this. Some storms go down. Some zealots managing to drag a few mines. The middle will be cleared. But how's the trade going? A few more tanks going to siege up here in the back line. The dragoons retreat in time. I think this has gone very reasonably for motive overall. Just needs to back away. Remax on Zealots. Zealots and Templars should be everything that's coming out of the gateways right now. Zealots, Templar, a few Dragoons scattered, but... Flash is starting to split the map in half. Once he gets turrets over here, completely covering this area, and gets a CC in the bottom left, things are going to become very troublesome for our Protoss player. Three, two, and one Plasma Shields is going to be coming online here shortly. No other tech though. Nothing else rolling right now for motive. He's maybe going to try and bust 12. I don't know if I like this. 12 o'clock is the least important base on the map right now. He's going to get a lot of SCVs. Oh my goodness. 10 kills total on those Templar. And what is Flash going to do? I think he just lets that go. Just, uh, yeah, okay, you can have it. Whatever. Only a few hundred minerals there anyway. Not making any moves right now. Flash is just focused on getting bottom right. Uh, set up here and the split map situation fully fortified. The middle of the map is looking like a stronghold. Flash has mines everywhere. He's got turrets everywhere. It's not going to be easy to make progress there in the middle. So Motive thinking about maybe going through the top. Maybe he wants to push over towards the natural. Force the army in the middle of the map out of position. He's moving towards that natural. It's a little bit tough though. There's so many turrets, so many mines. And lots of the Templar are going down before the fight even occurs. There's another Templar getting dropped. Going for those storms, but not really getting much out of them. There's another storm. Couple more going down. He's making some progress. He's moving towards the natural, but looks like we're going to have some more tanks come up, and I don't think this will make it much farther. Storm going down on some of these tanks at the south side. Another storm to finish them off, but dude, the dragoons getting completely crushed there at the end. You can see just a pit of blue goo. Here at the natural, the graveyard for Dragoons. One more shot. Does get that tank. Another harassment attack down here into the center left. Some storms getting dropped. A lot more SCVs going down. More Templar already. Can easily drop to catch this train, but he's going to wait for it to reach its destination. All right, the SCVs were heading down there to the bottom left. Oh my god, he taps out. Really? Well, Flash lost his entire economy, I suppose. These storm drops are killers. Six more kills on that. Let's see how many kills on this Archon. Five kills on that. The storm drops really tore him apart there. I thought that Flash was going to be able to take this game when he split the map in half. It was looking very strong, but... Just the constant storm drops, I guess, got the better of him. Seemed like he tapped out a little bit early there, though. There wasn't very much left for motive. He still had a pretty decent economy for a, a few more minutes. But he didn't have a follow-up. He didn't have any other tech. He had reavers. He had storms. He had shuttles. Uh, and, of course, gateways. But not much beyond that. He didn't have a carrier transition coming. He didn't have an Arbiter transition coming. He was just going to keep on battling like this. And eventually, if Flash weathered the storm, he could have taken this game. But 
I guess not enough defenses down here. Not enough defenses here. Not enough defenses here either. All the mining bases were pretty wide open aside from turret defense. Flash did not have the proper defenses to keep this alive. And he lost the majority of his SCVs. This is going way different than I expected, guys. Motive is dominating right now. Absolutely dominating uh, performance over Flash. Uh, not what I was expecting at all. It doesn't seem like Flash is fully realizing the situation or uh, making the necessary changes to give himself a chance against Motive. And if it keeps going like this, I would not be surprised to see Motive get a clean sweep in this series. We're going to go on to our next game, guys. Let's see if Flash can bring it back. And here we go with another one. I told you guys this was going to be a long series. So many games here to enjoy. Bit of Protoss domination thus far. Flash has got to be feeling just a little bit silly at this point. Having struggled this hard against Motive. Who is leveling up a lot lately who is performing very well but this is truly his domain he's not an asl champion he's not a, a tournament master he is a ladder warrior and flash is just not quite up to snuff not quite hip with the newest trends on ladder He's having a tough time facing the double robotics speed shuttle style. We'll see what kind of changes he can make. Or will he just continue to play his game and try and try to make it work? If there's one thing you can say about the ultimate weapon. He is the ultimate grinder. He puts in the hours and days and weeks and months of punishing practice to make sure that his builds and his understanding of the game is at the absolute peak. Like any good Terran on the ladder, he is putting in way more time than any of these other players to make sure that he understands everything that can come at him and the way that all of his builds uh, are weak and how they are strong. And he's going to continue on with the Gasless Fast Expand. I'm starting to feel like this is definitely Flash's comfort play. This is the play that Flash feels uh, the most happy with, the most um, warm and comfortable in. Getting a couple of free shots on that Marine and bails out. Pretty good probe micro there from Motive. No Zealot this time. Going right into a Dragoon here, but a Nexus before Cybernetic score, interestingly. It's not a... I, I guess this was a Nexus first. Was this Nexus first? No, it wasn't, was it? All right, I'm prolif I'm, I'm pontificating a little bit too much here. We gotta get back into this game. Some of you guys uh, leave comments that uh, I talk a little bit too much or I uh, <laughs> go a little bit off the rails, but it's true. What can I say? The early game of Brid War is uh, occasionally a little bit slow. And with not much going on, we need to uh, let our minds wander before the game really starts to get rolling. Oh, very nice play there from Motive. He actually traps the SCV with the pylon. Sneaky, sneaky play. See, the SCV went back here. And just immediately gets uh, snagged by that 
uh, pylon and probe. You don't often see that. It's actually one of the first times I've ever seen a play like that, but I guess it's worth it. Just get rid of the SCV as soon as possible by building the pylon behind it and just killing it with the SCV or with the with the probe. Seems kind of wild, but I think it's gonna work out pretty good here for motive. He did go for the range. It's not quite done yet, and the tank is already on the way, so taxes are gonna be light this season. Supply depots. Coming online here, everything looking good. Second factory with a second machine shop. Hmm. I wonder what Flash is going to go for this time. Is he going to go? I don't see an armory yet. I'm feeling like maybe Flash is going to go for a crazy, wacky, like, five factory timing and just go all in. It's not the greatest on cross map, but it can still, you know, catch your opponent off guard. If they're getting really greedy, taking extra bases and... Motive is at the point now where he, he, he's he kind of felt out Flash at this point. He knows that Flash likes to go for really fast armory and, and get kind of greedy with the expansions. And greed overcomes greed. And Protoss greed is always stronger than the Terran greed. We've only got two gateways here. We will have a Reaver soon-ish. But this attack is already coming. It's going to be followed up by a lot of vultures. He does have an armory on the way now. He's going to try and make this push work. He sees the little glimmer there of uh, an invisible unit. Recognizes it now as a... Oh god, this tank getting caught is huge. Dude, motive. That is such a sick play. Catching that tank on the way across the map. It does nothing here. These vultures are going to get blocked from going in. And this surround right now is insane. The tanks are going to go down so, so quickly. This play has been completely pulled apart. Dude, Motive just got away with a crazy quick nexus on two gateways. With no reaver, he manages to shut down the two factory. Um, well, it was after... Uh, gas is fast expand, so it's not like a normal two factory, but this is crazy. So well done here by Motive. Honestly, I am really impressed at the presence of mind that Motive has. He caught the rallies coming across the map with the Observer and brought the Dragoons to deal with it, and then completely surrounded that little push from Flash. I think, I don't know. Flash has got to be, got to be punching himself at this point. It's got to be head banging right now at the fact that he got so outplayed here by Motive. If only he would have gone straight for the natural and fought the Dragoons with the Marines and tanks to back them up. It's, ah. Uh... I, I, I understand, I think, what Flash was trying to do. He was trying to create a problem over here and then run Vultures by, but Motive handled it perfectly. Absolutely perfect. He caught the rallies. He had the Dragoons in his natural. And he completely surrounded that army without sacrificing uh, control over his entry point here. Beautifully, beautifully done. A eight and a half minute CC going to come out from Flash. Looks like it will be in position and mining by nine minutes, which is a very fast third CC, but double carrier production coming up from Motive, who's been on three bases for a while. He killed a bunch of tanks, so he immediately switches into... Oh, man. It's Shame for Motive that that Reaver shot didn't go a little bit better. He could have gotten so many kills, but on the return. Okay. Just one kill. 
Slowing this down a little bit. Oh, the Reaver's taking damage. You can probably you can probably drop right here. And you actually get some shots off. SCVs are so stacked down there, but there's a few too many tanks. He would be able to kill that a little bit too quickly, so he will not continue this drop. A fourth Nexus on the way. This is looking great for Motive once again. I gotta say, Motive looking fantastic. No scanner. Up here for Flash. Let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Flash's perspective. I want to see when he finds out about the carriers. He's setting up supply depots. Remember, every game this series has been a double shuttle style from Motive. And he's always heavily delayed the third base of Flash. But this time, Flash finally got a quicker third base. He's going into double armory now. He has... Um, no plus two started just yet, but he's got plus one. Okay, there's plus two. Getting started. He's going to have a reasonable timing. He's got five factories. He scans. Only a few dragoons. What's going on? Is he going to get a little bit uh, suspicious here? Another scan goes down. It's not inside the main base. Another scan on the army. Flash trying to figure out where the positions are for this Dragoon Zealot Force, but he's not finding out the crucial information that he needs. Diving forward here is going to try and get some probes. Good job pulling the probes back right now, making sure that not too many of them fall. The Dragoon's going to clear out most of this. A few probes end up falling, but nothing that we can't weather here right now as motive as long as we have some mineral income going and we can continue to pump out carrier he's got three carriers coming at a time he's gonna be feeling fine here flash is paying attention to everything but the main he scans sees gateways but nothing more dude i think flash is gonna get completely blindsided completely blindsided by this another scan goes down but not seeing much of significance he's gonna head down to the bottom right make sure that more bases can't come up for motive right now but he's gonna see that, that nothing's on the way well well probe was down there he was thinking about it he was thinking about taking a base here but it's not going to be ready for quite some time just some dragoons Clearing that out. The tank number is getting high. 145 supply. The scariest thing and the really the worst thing in the world though is when you hit that timing, you're like 2-1 timing. You've got 170 supply and nothing, no space to build any glass. There's the carrier. Oh my god, he leaves. <laughs> he leaves the game. Oh, no, 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 no. Really? <laughs> oh my god. He had no idea. He sees the carriers over his natural and immediately taps out. Flash is getting bopped. Absolutely bopped here. I love the, the switch it up for motive. And playing the same style over and over and over again. But he shuts down one push. And he says, well, you're not going to be able to push me. I might as well go carrier. Just instantly switches it up. Goes for a carrier play. Gets a nice quick win here over Flash. He is looking so scary right now. You guys better be getting excited about Motive. This guy is highly underrated. We've still got more games, guys. More opportunities to witness some amazing game gameplay from... This stellar Protoss player as he tests out the ultimate weapon on his come up. All right, last game of the series here, guys. Flash in the top right-hand corner, Motive in the bottom left. And these two guys are chattering a lot, in fact. I took some time to translate this. And I can read it out to you, guys. It's kind of interesting. They're talking about uh, some... 
strategy here. And Flash asked, shouldn't we attack the Templars? Uh, and Motive replied, if we rush in all at once, we'll get cut off and end up getting worn down. Uh, and Flash responded, I see. It seems like that. Motive said, yes, the thing is with Templars, they don't fight with all their forces at once. If you rush in when they have little forces behind them thinking they are weak, you'll end up getting worn down a lot there. I, I, I think what he's talking about is when Flash is pushing across the map and going for you know the big trade after dealing with the main army of motive and then motive is just falling back and falling back and dropping templar over and over again and continuing to storm down everything he's talking about it wears down the terran army and then the reinforcements end up cleaning everything up and i think that's what we've seen a bunch uh, in this series and so flash said i think i understand why they do a split attack uh, splitting off multiple uh, prongs of the terran army to hit different bases now motive responded nowadays they draw a line and do a split attack quite often flash says yes and motive says against templars flash said there aren't many good timings and Motive responded, yes, and recently the meta is five factories, so it's hard for Templars to be greedy. And Flash says, yes. Motive says, I think that's good. Flash says, aha, so if you do five factories, do you go for 1-1 one, one upgrades? Motive says, yes. And Flash says, do you go for star port late and 2-2 two, two upgrade, upgrades like that? Motive says, yes. Flash says, oh ho. Flash says, so then, during the two Reaver timing, you don't get worn down? That's a bit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do both at the same time. Hopefully nothing too crazy is going on on the map. We've just got the SCV being chased by the Dragoon. And Motive says, so then, during the two Reaver timing, you don't get worn down. And Flash said, do you do two factory multi? And Motive says, tricky, three bases. Flash says, yes. Motive says, no, you have, you build five factories. Then from five factories, you build units while looking at the timing, deciding whether to attack or expand. Terrans do that based on the situation. If the Templar is greedy, you attack. If not, you expand. And Flash says, aha, yes. So a bit of uh, explanation here coming from Motive. Flash getting hip to the new meta. You can see that he's not quite aware of what most of us in the scene right now are, are pretty hip to. Is that you're not able uh, to go for a three factory multi. What he was saying before. Uh, the three factory third base. It's, it's a little bit too hard. Too hard to make work against these Templar plays. And exactly what Motive was saying that Terran players are doing recently is kind of what we expect as the meta or what is kind of meta right now is taking a very quick five factories, sticking on 1-1 one, one, and taking a star port later after the third base. So let's see if Flash tries that this game. Maybe he will. Uh, give that a chance. It feels like so far he's just been trying his own game. He's been trying to play the way that he used to before uh, he went away to the army. But things have changed. Massive changes have happened in this matchup. And Motive's been showing him up in every different game. Now, they've spent a lot of time here chatting. So I'm not expecting the greatest game out of Motive, who is you know, lagging a little bit behind probably where he'd like to be with all of this typing. I know you've got 280 APM or 300 APM, but it still takes time to, to type all of this out. And I've already read everything that they said. Guys, I just went through it uh, right at the beginning of the game. So all of this is just that conversation uh, playing out in real time. 
We've got the first Reaver. Gonna hit the field. I doubt that it'll be sent in, as there are already Goliaths uh, in the Terran main. Charon boosters is being researched. Likely we'll just see another one of those plays with Reavers sitting out in the front. Waiting for the push out from Flash to kind of slow that down. Third command center gets started. Is he going to go into five factory? That's the two Goliaths so far. Third Goliath here at the natural. Shuttle making its way over here. I'm going to see that CC. It's a big scout for motive. He starts his own third nexus. Double gate behind this. He should know that he can take a pretty early fourth base without too much trouble. Flying into the main as speed finishes. Going to go in for some kills. Get a Goliath, perhaps. Maybe a tank. All right. Not the greatest trade just yet. Good shots there from the Goliath. Dealing a lot of damage. Looks like he might get the Goliath. No, nope, not quite. Goliath. Oh, dealing a lot to this shuttle one shot from the reaver does not go over the mineral patches what was that i think one scv might have went down oh he killed i think he, he shot into the mid mid tier and there was an scv on one of these so dealing a tiny bit of damage there but the reaver is gone now we're on three factory he's gonna three factory multi Multi. Three fact multi. He's going to take another expansion here on just three factories and try to make this work. Uh, after killing off the Reaver shuttle, it's a lot easier to, to have this uh, go smoothly. But still, it's, it's a little bit of a hard ask here. Nice job. Picked off three dragoons. It doesn't lose anything. Uh, that was actually a great trade so far from Flash. And if... He could hold this base if he could make this play work. In any game, it would be this one. He's done well enough at this point. Where I don't think that Motive will be able to shut this down by any means. Turrets in the main. Getting set up right as this is this, this play is going on. The shuttle's going to fly into the main. There's two turrets here, but they're not going to be able to fire... Uh, both of them won't fire. Just one's going to fire here. So the Reaver will get off in the main once again. Let's see what kind of damage you can do with this Reaver. Ooh, the dud. That is an unfortunate dud there. The Reaver's probably not going to get too much damage at all. I think it's one Vulture. Target onto that. One shot on the tank. One more hit on that tank. Very nice. Gets a tank kill. But there goes the shuttle. So one tank, maybe one or two SCVs. Very good trades here so far for Flash. And you can see his supply is looking really good. He will have plus two on curve. Second armory is there. It's not spinning just yet. But he is looking about as good as he has in any of these games. This is the best we've seen Flash look. Um for all five games that we've had so far. Command center here at the fourth being taken lightning quick. Ten minutes in is dropping that on location. Building turrets over here and there's not really much motive can do about it. He's thrown away all of his shuttles so far. He's lost two reavers and a bunch of dragoons. He's going to send another shuttle over towards this fourth but it's already established it's it's good as gold right now not really much you can do about it goliath gonna target onto that shuttle takes that out real quick uh looks like the reaver may be able to kill this tank and goliath yeah it does but vultures are gonna come down vultures should be enough to clean this up with the reaver this low already yeah he's gonna be able to get rid of that no problem and there goes the zealots as well Seems like the turret will probably die. Yeah, he's just going to go ahead and repair it. Or start the command center again. Command center on the way. Uh-oh. 
I don't see anything over here. Going after the observers. Observers is a good pickoff. Um, some reinforcements make their way forward just in the nick of time. Zealot speed finishes us up just as this attack starts. But I guess he's not going to go for it. Motive. A little bit apprehensive about taking this fight. Flash with so few units. He's having to... Uh, send the army back and forth between these two bases to make sure that he has enough to hold either of these two locations. I'm going to send out some more reinforcements now. He's getting that factory count really rolling. He has plus two done. Plus three will be on the way shortly. Army rotating up towards this base. Another main is being taken now by motive. Is Flash going to get a win here finally? Our final game could be... Uh, Flash favored. You can see uh, keeping up in supply. That fourth is mining. Uh, uh, 70 workers. This is the highest workers we've seen out of Flash in this series so far, I think. I don't think we've ever seen him get to 70 workers uh, in all these games, but here he is. Another rally point being set up in top left. It's looking like a double robo game, and it is. Flash very light on the defenses over here. A little bit heavier in this position, making sure he has enough for the central area as well. Doesn't want to lose his rally point. Probes getting caught on the transfer to the top left. Looks like, oh, Motive not paying attention to this. He's got a cannon to defend some of these probes, but he's going to lose a lot of them for free. Quite a few probes going down. I'd say like about 10 probes fall. Which is a serious, serious blow to the economy of motive. Whereas Flash is, he's ready. Just about to move across this map. And make a go of it. Where is he going to head though? Is he going to head up to top left? Is he going to go for the natural? It's tough to go for the natural on cross map. But... There's no second rally point set up just yet. Oh, if Motive tries to dive in right now, I think that Flash is for sure going to win this. Yeah, if he tries to go for it, Flash is going to be in such a good spot. Sometimes players will get antsy. Just get a little bit nervous after losing too many workers. I don't see any storms with this. Do we have any Templar on the field just yet? If he wants to take big fights... Oh, yeah, there they are. Templar are in the shuttle. You need some sort of splash to beat a heavily upgraded mech player. All these vultures are likely to get killed. There's a few transferring workers that are going to end up going down as well, but... Uh, all these vultures are going to go down. Nice pylon block on the high ground here. So... You know what? Flash just loses a huge number of vultures uh, before a potential push can come out. So it's looking a little rough. We'll have to wait for those numbers to, to come back up, but he's fine waiting here. He's not quite done that plus three. The moment that that plus three finishes, he's going to be in a much better position. Base down in the bottom right going to be denied for now. Flash getting out with those vultures and doing some good work in the bottom right. A few dragoons will be brought forward to, to deal with this. Oh, I thought that was a shuttle. 72 SCVs to 78 probes. And the big army is going to move forward. Here we go. Massive army pushing forward for Flash. It's a little bit split right now. Flash realizes... That this might not be the best moment. Oh my goodness, that uh, that mind drag there was insane. These tanks up here on high ground are very, very grouped up. Excellent storms on some of those frontal tanks. Trading out some of his supply, but lowering that tank out and also damaging a bunch of them. He has plus one attack on the way for air. Curious if we're going to see a full-on switch into carrier pretty soon. 
uh, or if he's just taking that as a backup plan some tanks making their way over to the top left very flimsy line of tanks here though and lots of gateways in the bottom left to assist that area pushing forward getting rid of spider mines as tanks stretch their way over to the top left the plan is clear here for Flash. Take 12 and push to the top left. Start to split this map in half. Tanks settling in here towards this natural, but storms from the high ground could be vicious. We should be seeing storms coming up. A big storm on a big group of tanks here. Some coming from the low ground and the high ground as well. Oh my goodness, so many storms just whittling down this massive Terran army. With 3-1 upgrade, 3-2 is about to finish. Some vultures make their way down here to the bottom right, it looks like. Clearing out that position just a little bit. Making sure that the fourth quadrant of the map is not contained by the Protoss, or not taken by the Protoss, excuse me. Like vultures here. Gonna be able to snipe this Templar? No. Templar just gonna live. Coming from multiple angles. Zealots are going to come from behind. Templar, Zealot, Dragoon coming from the high ground here to the south. Zealots getting on top of everything. The storm's actually dealing a lot of damage to the Zealots. You don't want to surround the tank with Zealots and then sh throw a storm on it. That's going to deal more damage to your Zealots than it will to the actual tanks themselves. Trying to push out here once again. Another great storm right in the middle of all this. He does storm his own observer, but that's worth it for the trade. Oh my god, the storms. Oh, it's nasty. This DT in the middle as well being super annoying. Like Flash going to get right up in here. Start to fight the, the cannons on high ground. DT making its way over to the 12 o'clock. Might get a lot of kills. We'll see about that. Dragoons popping out are going to start to deal with these vultures. A secondary army making its way forward. Cut off reinforcements. Shuttle with Zealot going to drop on top of these tanks. Dragoons fighting at the same time. As long as he takes out the tanks here, he should be fine. Just kill off that one last tank. He does get it. And he gets the tank on the low ground. So he will hold top left. Dragoons make their way down here once again. It's time for another base for Motive. And this, this Templar <laughs> CT has 15 kills. Oh my goodness, that DT. Oh no, 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 no. 60 SCVs still. We're, you know, we're still pretty good on the SCVs. Just that base at 12 o'clock has nothing left. Flash is a little bit too busy trying to push forward here. And Motive is just overwhelming and making it look incredibly easy. It, it's crazy. What motive can do he is handling this so incredibly well flash the three two mech it's looking like uh it can't hold on at all against what motive is doing what should be on paper pretty darn strong against gateway army is turning out to be not nearly as strong as flash had hoped fourth base fifth base excuse me is going to be lifted he took this really early on, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. As long as he gets that back up again uh, in a reasonable amount of time, I, I think he's going to be fine here. Some storms will be dropped. Looking for an opportunity to get a bunch of tanks or vultures in this storm drop. Oh, and SCVs as well. Yikes. Pretty good trade on the way out there for Flash. A lot of dragons going down. But so many of these are super low. As soon as he can get uh, some Zealot drops on top of that, he'll be cleaning out a bunch of tanks for very cheap trade. Does need to uh, repair this command center. Oh, Flash is um, recognizing exactly how low that is. But yeah, that's, um, that's not good. If that burns down, that could be the reason why Flash loses this game. Um... Base is starting to be established in the bottom right. Flash can't really do anything about it. He's at 149 supply. He needs to buy time right now. 
buy time to get up to that 160 supply again. His CC is burning. Here comes another drop into this base. Dropping on top of the low HP tanks. Dropping some storms on top of everything. Oh my goodness. Such a good engagement here. And even picks up the Templar and escapes. So just so many upsides here for Motive. And Flash is struggling to see the glasses half full. There we go. Another great storm on these tanks. Lowering their HP. And dude, this is going to burn. I'm telling you guys. I'm calling it. Okay, he does. He does repair. Caster's Curse. The moment I say it, he does get that repair going. I'm glad. I'm glad we're going to see Flash stay alive in this game because this, this could get kind of weird. This could get kind of insane. A lot of these minerals have been mined. Like about 500 off of each patch. So Flash, you know, he might take over this base, but... How much minerals are going to be left by the time he actually gets control in the top left? Probably not too many. And Motive is not going to let go of control that easily. He's going to send some more shuttles up here. Target on those shuttles would be big. Loses one shuttle already. Motive, maybe realizing it's not a good idea to take this engagement anymore, might be turning away. Focusing on fighting from the high ground. Fighting from the high ground is pretty strong. As we've seen before. Drop here into the center right. That's a lot of turrets. Most everything goes down immediately. Storms onto the units as they come to reinforce. Get a couple of tanks here and there. A few more storms going down, but the vultures will clear out everything. That is so many turrets at that base. Crazy amounts of turrets there. All right, trying to force his way into the middle. Good D-Matrix on some of these tanks to keep them alive. A lot of the Templar are going to go down here, but they get some reasonable trades with the Storm. SCVs back to mining. Over at the fourth base. A lot of Storms here in the middle. He really needs to dive on this with just Vulture. Take five Vulture, run around, and just start killing. Killing all these Templar before he can even take the engagement. Nice EMP! Big EMP there. Look at all the Templar there with no energy. Forcing them into Archons, which are far less useful than the Templar. A lot of units being made up here. Flash going to continue to push down towards this uh, top right. I know I said down and then I said top. It doesn't make sense. Here we go. Fighting from high ground. Fighting from the south as well. Tanks making their way over here, but they're going to get stormed immediately. Some more Zealots, some more Storm there, but a great target from that. Clump of Goliaths means that he won't get much farther. He will have to back away. Uh, but Flash is just being frustrated so badly in the top left. He is being forced to continuously push towards that location and eat big storms over and over and over again from the high ground. Just trying to throw down some scans so he can see what's up there. Try to hit that with his tanks, but... He's making so little progress here. And being frustrated so badly, I, I really feel like Motive is in full control. He's probably going to lose some of these gateways. But the likelihood that Flash can push up here and actually kill this base... I mean, it, it, it's not looking good. Especially before these minerals dry up. Can he actually get up here before all the minerals are gone? That feels unlikely. That feels like a pipe dream right now. Motive is going to find more locations for his shuttles to hit. More uh, zealot bombs that can slow this down even further. And Flash is going to slowly push up this ramp with storms hitting him at every turn. Every move that he makes is going to be stormed absolutely to death. Here comes some tanks onto the high ground. Let's see if Flash can make this happen. Store, uh, big Zealot drops on top of this. He's going to bring forward DTs and Zealots. All of these tanks going down on the high ground. And Storm drops over here as well, it looks like. Ouch. 
dealing quite a lot of damage to these scvs some of them are going to be transferred but still killing up off a ton more units and only 119 supply for flash dude he is struggling right now even the rallies coming out from the top left are giving him a lot of trouble the storms from the high ground of course just so brutal and zealots are gonna get down here kill off another tank He's pushing in with his dragoons towards the natural and flash is just barely able to get a defense together to keep his natural alive tanks in the middle might be uh, better spent over here in the top left we need to take out this base the minerals are drying up only a few hundred remain and where are the next round of shuttles going to be sent to probes being sent to the bottom right because he's taking the mineral only as well He's trying to push up this ramp one more time. Picking off Templar as they pop out of the gateways is a good sign. Get rid of these before they get their storms down. Very important. Another storm. Another DT here. Army moving its way over towards the natural. The counterattack is happening right now. Only a few tanks over at this natural. Gonna siege up on that low ground. Vultures coming out. But this is a big Protoss force. He's going to run right up on top of this and start to break through. There's a ton of Templar behind this as well. And there's just not enough coming out here for Flash. He actually has to unsiege everything in the middle and go back, but he doesn't. GG is called. The checkmate maneuver here in the natural from Motive. Shutting down the rally point here of Flash. What an incredible series from Motive, man. I am so impressed with how he's played this out. Flash didn't seem like he even stood a chance. Like, he was playing at a very high level. He made the three factory multi work here. He got such a fast fourth base. His army was looking incredibly strong right on that 3 2 with this many factories behind it and five base. Like, he got five base pretty quick. But as he's pushing up here into the top left, the trades get worse and worse and worse. And Motive continues to storm over and over and over again. There's Storm Boy for life, Motive. Handling every move from Flash. And even had the carrier follow up behind this. Oh my goodness. Remember, he was pumping... Uh, attack upgrades from this one cybernetics core getting that ready for the transition it is crazy to me what you can do with protoss uh, in this new style with the the speed shuttle templar but guys what did you think of this series are you shocked that motive was able to take down flash six times in a row or is it just par for the course for a Terran player coming back from a long hiatus? Getting dominated by this style. It seems like it took a long time for all the pro Terran players to get used to it. And to find ways to maneuver around it. It seems like Flash has not been, you know, taking lessons from anybody or talking to many people on the inside. It seems like he was asking a lot of questions that um, players like... And, and viewers like us kind of understand already is that it's not it, it's a different game when the player when the Protoss player wants to go for this style you have to play in a different manner uh, than your regular upgrade mech and it seems like Flash hasn't really caught on to that anyways guys I'd love to hear your thoughts thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow